Well, it's uh, my first review of a product I bought here in Thailand. Got a couple requests from people asking me how I like this uh, CF Moto 520L four wheel drive ATV. So I thought I'd do a really quick review. Drove it for about a week, actually did some four wheel and as you can see here, little mud and leaves in there. Anyways, gonna review the uh, suspension, of course, is the rear. And let me back up here real quick, get you a better, uh, better picture of it. Bought it uh, about a month ago and was delivered uh, right before I arrived back home in uh, Panchanaburi, Thailand. Bought it in Bangkok. It was roughly, with today's conversion of the bot, around 6,500 USD dollars. Uh, so gonna go into it more a little bit detail real quick. Again, I like the uh, the orange color and the, uh, the black plastics kind of set it off. Features, liquid cold. 500 uh, cc engine even though it says 520 okay the c4 is 520l means that it's designed or built for two people i believe all they really do is put an extra cleat on there put these grab handles on right here and put this backrest so you can essentially have two passengers on it anyways go out front here you got the controls on the uh Left hand, yeah, left hand, right hand side, you know. Uh, of course, horn, four ways, turn signals, uh, of course, lights, high, low, engine stop and start. The in and out is for the winch. It does come with the uh, winch as standard. Of course, you got the uh, master cylinder. Front brake is right here, coming down here. Two uh, 12 volt USB ports. One's a USB and one's actually a uh, 12 volt cigarette type lighter port. Park indicator, of course, you have park, reverse, neutral, high and low, of course, fuel tank. Of course, in the center, you got the uh, console. I'm gonna walk around on to the other side and show you the controls on. The right side actually coming down here it is a four by four you uh, know little shot right here of the uh, front suspension right in there uh chinese brand but it actually is manufactured right outside of bangkok so they do get away with that uh not charging a lot of import fees or tariffs because it's manufactured in bangkok Anyways, coming around the front, of course, you got the headlights, a bumper bar, front bumper bar, the uh, winch. It looks pretty beefy, actually. I was surprised. I thought the cable would be kind of iffy, but I did already operate it, and the cable is pretty damn strong, and so are the fittings. This is a front tow bar. I actually had that added on. Because where I live, the, the Sawyer streets are rather narrow, and sometimes it's easier to actually maneuver and tow the trailers I have from my jet ski and motorcycle trailer from the front. I can kind of, it's more quicker turning radius. Anyways, coming over here on this side, of course we got on both sides, we got hand guards. Right here, of course, on and off. On this side, we got, of course, right here, the throttle. Okay, two wheel drive, four wheel drive. This is electric shift. And it also has right here, as you can see, four wheel drive front differential lock. So it, for the money, it does have a lot of features. And I wanna say it's, it's, it's pretty damn well built. The plastics, the ABS plastics on it are, are pretty damn thick. You see the actual paint, the paint finish on the plastics is, is good. It, again, the cleats are pretty good. Coming up, it is, of course, electronic fuel injection, liquid coal with an automatic fan that comes on. In the rear here, you got more, more storage capability. I like that they have these, these fittings here. It helps a lot 
when you use uh, toe straps or anything else like that, or ratchet straps to attach stuff to it. Again, it's pretty damn beefy, the plastic, and it is metal reinforced. There is metal here, here, here. So it's metal reinforced. You can carry some pretty large objects on it. Coming back from the rear, of course, we got tail lights on it. And of course, as I said before, it does have a uh, factory installed rear hitch. One thing I was pretty impressed about that it actually has right here, a backup alarm. I was surprised about that. Uh, backup alarm and also it has inside a seven pin hitch, but on the front of it, you can't see, it does have a backup alarm on it. Again, the uh, suspension, it's, Again, pretty damn well made. I was really impressed with the quality of the materials they used in this. The boot material, it's, it's, it's heavy duty. You can see over here, the uh, brake lines and stuff are armor reinforced with, you know, uh, spiral armor on the outside. The brakes there, four wheel disc. This has four wheel disc on it and stops pretty good. One of the things I like about this too right here, there is a storage compartment. And it's pretty decent size. I got two ratchet straps, a tool kit in there. And I still, if I push it back even more, I can get even more stuff in there. So the tires seem decent. Uh, the rims are okay, they're cast aluminum. Or yeah, they're cast aluminum on the 520L. The, on CF4, CF4 C Moto series, this is the premium. The L is like the premium version. It has all the, I guess, bells and whistles. So it is pretty quiet. Um, let me start it up for you. I'll show you the uh, display here. Of course, turn it on. Right there is your display. Has, uh, of course, uh, coolant temperature, uh, gas, what gear you're in. And right here, if you're in two wheel or four wheel drive. So oil light and a water temperature light too. So to start it, you gotta hold the uh, front brake. And then you're gonna, if I could do it, you're gonna push this. And it starts. Again over here, RPM indicator, speedometer. It is pretty quiet. And of course to stop it, just either hit the kill switch here or you can just go over and turn the ignition off again I did drive it uh, about maybe 15 20 kilometers so far and it does it runs pretty good the engines really smooth quiet plenty of power and uh, I think I'm really gonna enjoy it. anyways this was a short video this is a C force 520 L series 4x4 electronic fuel injection and i believe the manufacturer is cf moto